right there, Maya Rudolph. Thank you, uh, ladies. Ladies looking and gorgeous, uh, and also, by the way, also looking stunning. Uh, we're here on the cover of Hollywood Reporter. Ooh hey. la la! Hey. Thanks, Jimmy. Um, Thank you, my friend. I, I was reading about you in. Uh, oh, I read this article, but I want to say it was a little gossip column. Oh, you, were, really? you were in the gossips. You were in the. You were in the papers. Oh, yes. Yeah. You had a dinner with Vice President Kamala Harris. I sure did. I sure did, Jimmy. Well, what was it like? You never met her. I know you did the First great... First of all, I just want to say, I didn't leak it. Like, I... How does everybody know? Yeah. No, you're not... The, you would never snitch. I don't want to be in trouble. Like... You... Maya's not a rat. You would I'm never I'm not do a that. rat. No. Snitches get stitches. That's exactly right. Yes. And I... I... There were Secret Service everywhere. So I was like, I'm, I'm not guilty. Yeah. You're like, I'm forgetting what I'm doing right now. None of this happened. Yeah. yeah. But wait, what was it like? Did you, it you was never fantastic. met her? Fantastic. You... No, I yeah, I only met her on Zoom. Um, and I say only, not like I was like, oh, I can't wait to meet Kamala Harris. Like, no, yeah, no, it was, it was a big deal. It was a but, big deal. Um, in the old days when you worked at Saturday Night Live and you were doing a political impression, those people would usually come through the building and you'd get to meet per someone you were per impersonating. But because it was COVID, I never got to meet her. Um, but we did a, a fundraiser together. It was Amy Poehler. Uh, Hillary, myself, and Kamala. It was very cool. Wow. So I thought that was it, and I was like, I'm good, and it's, it's great. Um, but then I got to go to dinner with her, and, and um, the first, second gentleman? Oh, yeah. Doug? Doug. Yeah. yeah. You got to meet Doug. I got to meet Doug, or I should say, Doug got to meet me, because he was pretty excited. He was so nice. He was like... He was... Two... He was so excited that there were two Kamalas. Two Kamalas. <laughs> Yeah, double, yeah, he loves yeah. his wife. He really loves his wife. They love each other. It's, yeah. it's quite beautiful. Uh, did she mention the impression? You don't really talk about it. You just talk about it. No, Doug mentioned it. He did. A lot. He yeah. brought it up. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I would, do, do you get, I mean, I've met people I've impersonated before, and I kind of don't bring it up. I, yeah, I don't, I don't like to, I don't like to mention Go people that I, that I ape them. <laughs> Hi, I ape you. I ape you, yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I do it for fun. I, I'm, like, doing it because you love the person. You know, it's like you're a Mick Jagger. Like, I it's love like it. It's like something you would have been doing in your, in your bedroom anyway. Yeah. Or, like, in the shower. That's correct. Yeah. I would totally be doing that. Uh, by the way, I saw you at the season finale. I saw you on the season finale. Okay. Uh, with Natasha Lyonne, uh, who was great. She was uh, great. And uh, I, I didn't, uh, I didn't go to the show. I, cause I, I kind of like just stay. I would like to just watch the show. Cause you don't, you, you don't like going out at uh, eleven thirty at night and getting home at four o'clock in the morning. I'm too old. <laughs> I'm too weird. old now to stay up that late. But <laughs> yeah, no, me too. I, uh, but no, but I heard that afterwards you had the after party and you and some of the roots had a rager. Yes, my band Princess got to play with some of these fine musicians you're looking at right here. In the ice rink downstairs? In the ice rink where people ice skate, we got to play the after party. But yeah. I heard you crush it, it's like a Prince tribute band. We are a Prince tribute band, guys. Yeah. We are Princess. Princess. Yes. And, uh, I heard it was off the chain. It was really fun because we brought Wendy and Lisa out from the Revolution. What? Original band. Did yeah. you freak out? Yeah. Did I you... mean, f Wendy and Lisa for me are like, like I would daydream about singing with them in my bedroom. Yeah. Again, or in the shower. Shower, of course. Or <laughs> in my car. Still. No, like, I mean, but seriously though, that's I know everything. how much of a fan you are. It's everything, and it's you know, it's Prince's original, like like. It's his band. It's the band that I connected to his music uh, with, and and too. So I feel like it's it's very personally li life moment, full circle, fulfilling. You're so talented. And I love that you get to do that, and I go, and good. It was like the best news. I heard that. I'm like, it was very. Why cool. was I not there? I was it so was pretty jealous. fun. There was some. There was some people were people were getting a little loose. There you was were a, There was an older gentleman uh, right in the front row all night. Yeah. Oh, really? All night. Oh, man, that would have been... Ooh, yeah, like yeah, a yeah, lot yeah, of, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, fans are excited about this. Disney just released the first photo to the uh, upcoming sequel to Enchanted. Yes. Called Disenchanted. Disenchanted. Uh, Disenchanted, and it sounds fantastic because you played the part of the villain. Yeah, with Amy Adams. Oh, I love Amy. So cool. <laughs> the coolest. I mean... You're playing the villain. 
Is that fun to play the villain? Oh my God, it's, it's the most fun. It's like... You can do everything. Yeah, you get to be like arch and big and like, it's like, you know, you think, if anyone had ever said like, oh, you get to be the villain, I'd be like, oh, I'm, I'm you know, when I first thought of playing the villain, I was like, I don't want to be the bad guy. It's the most fun you will ever have. I had like a, a carriage, like a, a carriage with horses and like, <laughs> I got to be rude to people. Yeah. And like I got a crown and yeah. long nails and yeah. So fun, but Disney it, knows how to do it up, man. Oh my God, it's the it's the coolest thing in the world, a Disney villain. Yeah, I'm joining some serious. And ranks. Amy Adams is fantastic. Amy Adams way. is is basically perfection. She's yeah. a perfect human being. She's an unbelievable actress, but like I love the first Enchanted, and I I I love Giselle, the character she plays. But I didn't realize I'd never I know Amy, but I didn't know her as Giselle. So the first day that I got to work, she was already in costume and makeup and she started speaking to me like Giselle and I found myself like, I felt like a little kid. I was like. <laughs> You're a princess. Yeah, it felt like being at Disneyland and talking to a princess. Her her face yeah. is different somehow her when she's eyes. Giselle. Her eyes are twinkly yes. and like her hands are really beautiful <laughs> and I felt like. Yeah, you're like, okay. Yeah, and then you and then you have to like be the villain to her, which is yeah. just so fun. It was uh, really fun. Uh, let's talk about uh, uh, loot. Uh, and how funny this is. Oh my gosh. I love the premise of it. You are so good in this. Thank you, Bob. Uh, there's so many good little, like, my Rudolph y aside jokes that you go, like, <laughs> oh, that is so funny that you have to, like, watch it four times. Even just the way you can uh, moonwalk out of here. Thank and just, you, like, that, that part of the thing. <laughs> you do those little bits. But uh, who came up with the idea for this? It was Alan Yang and Matt Hubbard, who I, I worked with on a show called Forever with our buddy Fred Armisen. Yep. And um, they, um, did 30 Rock and Parks and Rec, and they're great, great, great writers. And they just said to me, like, how would you like to play this, um, this woman who's married to, like, the most powerful man in the world, and they get divorced, they don't have a prenup, so she's left with $87 billion. Billion dollars. So, great. Yeah. Billion. billion. yeah. With a B. B. So $87 billion, and, and then she has to decide, like, hey, is this is this my life? Like, what, what do I like this material of life? All these material things. Yeah, or just like I've been thinking about it a lot because of the show. Like, I I think we would all not be sad to wake up with eighty-seven billion dollars. No. no. But then at the same time, what enters my mind is like, and what are you going to do with it? Like, this a, a social responsibility after you buy like a couple islands. Yeah, but your character it's very conflicted because she yes. is used to living that life and swapping a champagne for a fresher champagne exactly. and like and uh, yeah it must and be nice it must be nice yeah uh, but I, uh, I it's super fun and I want everyone to check it out it's on Apple TV Plus uh, here's a clip here's my Rudolph and loot take a look okay great well we'll start with the Howler Monkey original hot sauce okay this is so exciting. Mmm, tasty. This is good. Mm. So the Wells Foundation, tell me about some of the things that your organization is focused on specifically. Of course. One of the things that we're very passionate about is... Oh. Oh. Wow. That one's got a little... a little heat to it, doesn't it? My goodness. I'm just gonna have a little... Yeah, are you okay? I'm good. I'm so sorry. It's so hot. He's brilliant. Sean Evans is genius. I love I that guy. Love him. I love him. We've had him on the show a couple of times, and you have, I mean, I only, I mean, the, the bomb, you make it to the bomb, and you really, <laughs> that happens to your stomach. And But he's so genius. He takes his time with the questions as, as you're sweating. He's you. unbelievable. I can't, he eats all of those he really every does. single time. Yeah, he's the greatest. Well, I can't say he's the greatest because my Rudolph is here. Wait Come a on. minute, guys. Lou premieres this Friday. On Apple TV Plus. Hey, hey.